Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, short game review. After Jan Ors is attacked by some dark Jedi, Kal Katarn returns to the way of the Jedi. In a way. He's quite angry and he want, wants revenge, but Luke still allows him to get his Force powers back and a lightsaber. This has a lot smoother effects and control for force powers and the lightsaber. You can really tell that technology has evolved a lot since the 97 game. The force powers are perhaps also more even and more useful overall. You literally do feel like you have a lot of power at your very fingertips. The single player portion is quite good if it does take too long to get to the lightsaber and force powers and the plot is a tad predictable and just not quite as effective as the old one, if it is pretty epic. You get to meet some cool characters from the Star Wars Galaxy universe. And multiplayer is a lot of fun with many hours of fighting your enemies in several different modes, including capture the flag, capture the Isalimiri, which disables force powers for the one who's carrying it, and they also can't be used against the one who's carrying it, and other interesting ones.